Dear Mr. Knight, thank you for joining our program today. Your company has just launched a critical units cover. Is it relating to the government's uh, call for more Hong Kong people to buy the medical plan? No, it's, it's not driven by uh, that, that uh, development. It's simply a fact that um, we have in our parent market in the UK uh, for many years had a, a successful record of offering critical illness insurance um, right back to 1991. And we just felt it was uh, appropriate that we leverage our experience and our expertise of providing those kinds of products uh, to develop uh, a critical illness proposition here in Hong Kong. But there are also other insurance companies have already um, offered this critical illness cover. How can friends pathogens uh, compete with them? Well, that's true. Yeah, there are, there are other products uh, of this type in the market already. I think that what we have to offer that's, uh, that, that's perhaps quite powerful is the, the expertise and the experience that we have of, of offering these products for nearly 20 years uh, elsewhere and our claims reputation, uh, which is excellent, uh, for example, last year in 2008, of all of the critical illness claims which were um, sent in to Friends Provident, we were uh, able to pay out more than 95%, which is a, a very high percentage. Uh, and in monetary terms, we actually paid out more than 50 million pounds in critical illness claims during 2008. Equally, where we feel that we have uh, something to add in the, the Hong Kong market is the, the product that we're, uh, we're bringing out here in Hong Kong uh, is very broad in terms of uh, its, its coverage. Uh, we're actually protecting uh, individuals against uh, a range of 53 different illnesses and serious conditions, uh, which is one of the broadest critical illness covers that's available right now. Fast Profiting is known for uh, selling the investment name product. Do you find it is more difficult for you to sell those type of product during the financial crisis? Uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, for, for most institutions, whether they're insurance companies or other financial services providers, uh, the end of 2008 and the, the first quarter of 2009 were, were perhaps some of the most challenging times that we've ever faced. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to say that um, since the, the first quarter of this year, we've seen our unit link sales recovering quarter on quarter. And, and we also proved quite resilient uh, relative to the rest of the market during the downturn of, of the last year or so. Uh, if we look back to our, our market share in, in the unit linked market in Hong Kong in 2008, it was something like 6%. Uh, if we looked at the market share that we'd secured in the first two quarters of 2009, we'd grown that to something like 11%. So we were relatively resilient um, against a, a very difficult market backdrop. Uh, on the sales side, do you sell mainly for agents, um, independent financial advisor or the bank? Uh, our, uh, our product distribution is almost totally through independent financial advisors. Um, we are we're therefore faced with a challenge because uh, we don't own our own distribution and the financial advisors that we work with have a full range of choice of different insurance companies and investment institutions. We therefore have uh, a, a challenge to ensure that the products and services that we provide are market leading uh, and are therefore suitable for independent advisors to recommend to their clients. And why don't you use the band's network to sell your product? I, I wouldn't uh, exclude the possibility that we wouldn't work with banks. Uh, it's, it's just that uh, historically and, and with the, the Friends Provident Group as a whole, uh, we've always found that um, we are very successful at working with independent intermediaries. Uh, globally, it's where uh, we distribute the majority of our, of our uh, products and services. Uh, so that's where we've got, our, if you like, our expertise. Um, we've also found that the financial advisor market in, in most locations that we work has, has proved to be extremely resilient. Uh, they are able to adapt very effectively to regulation. Um, they tend to be small, medium-sized enterprises, so they're quite flexible um, and, and quite nimble in terms of their business activities. 
and um, it's 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 not to say that we wouldn't look at other distribution channels, but really our core competence is in distributing products through the independent financial advisor sector. Well, the government is uh, studying to set up a compensation fund uh, that will provide the policyholder with some sort of uh, compensation if their insurance companies are collapsed. Do you agree with that proposal? Uh, it's it's certainly. Um, not uh, anything particularly new in terms of um, what we've seen in other parts of the world. Um, it's desirable from a, from a policyholder perspective to perhaps have that extra degree of, of protection. Um, from an insurance company and the insurance industry pers perspective, it's perhaps desirable in that it will uh, enhance confidence in the industry. Interestingly enough, um, Friends Provident International, uh, as a, a, an Isle of Man domiciled insurance company, uh, we've actually uh, been subject to Isle of Man policyholder protection uh, for um, more than 20 years. Uh, and that's a, that's a system which uh, is operated by the Isle of Man government, uh, which basically is, is enshrined in statute uh, that any policyholder worldwide of Friends Provident International uh, is protected by. That's important to have the policyholder be protected. Well, once again, thank you for joining our program today. Thank you very much. You're welcome.